Hi, my name is Dr. John Thomas. You are watching this video because either you or someone you love suffers with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. These symptoms can consist of numbness, tingling, burning, electric shock-like pain into the hands or the feet. Another concern with neuropathy is falls. Uh, statistics show that the number one cause of death in seniors is actually falls. And this happens when you have these symptoms of neuropathy and you can't feel your feet, so the likelihood of you losing your balance, falling, breaking a hip, and that leading to death, that risk goes way up. Okay? So our neuropathy recovery program may be the solution that you're looking for to get your health back. What I'm going to do in this video is explain to you what neuropathy is, as well as some of the main causes or triggers that we see in our office. Right. So first, let's give a basic definition. All right. And to do this, I'm going to draw out some uh, very, very basic neurological pathways to get in a, an understanding of how this damage occurs in our body. Right. So a basic definition of peripheral neuropathy is it's basically just damage to the nerves that are away from the spine. Okay. And to talk about this, I'm going to draw a little diagram here. So we're talking about our nervous system. And we have two main components of our nervous system. The first is what we call the central nervous system and the second part is what we call the peripheral nervous system. Okay? Our central nervous system is our brain and our spinal cord. Okay? That's in the midline or the central area. Brain and spinal cord. Okay? Now our peripheral nervous system is everything that is away from the midline. All right? It's our peripheral. So our arms, our visceral function, our legs, Right. And there are two basic components to our peripheral nervous system. The first one is what we call the somatic, and the second is what we call the visceral. Okay. Now, our somatic nervous system, we're going to break this down a little bit more in depth. Okay. There's two main components of our somatic. Right. First is what we call our sensory, and the second is our motor. All right. Now, sensory deals with how well we feel. All right. And our motor deals with how well do we move. All right. Our visceral, also known as our autonomic nervous system, this deals with organ function. All right. Like heart function, lung function, okay. gut function, including you know, our colon, our small intestines, our stomach. Autonomic also deals with our gallbladder, our liver, our reproductive organs. Okay? So when somebody develops neuropathy, they are actually developing a damage to this peripheral nervous system. Okay? So what happens is if we get damage to our somatic sensory nervous system, we actually lose our perception of a feeling. Okay? And with that, you get symptoms of numbness, tingling, burning, whatever it is. Now, if you get damage to the motor component of our peripheral nervous system, this is where you start seeing muscle atrophy, meaning that you start noticing that our muscles are getting a little bit smaller. Right? Muscles in our arms, muscles in our legs, the, the muscle mass is actually decreasing. Right? Now we can also get damage to our visceral nervous system, okay, affecting any of those organs. For instance, if we get damage to the nerves that go to our heart, you may start seeing increased heart rate, blood pressure. You, if you get damage to uh, visceral components that go to your gut or stomach function, maybe you start getting a lot of reflux. Yeah. So we can get damage anywhere along the peripheral nervous system, all right, and that's defined as peripheral neuropathy. Okay. Now let me explain this a little bit more basic for you. We've got our brain, and we've got our spinal cord. All right. Now within our brain and spinal cord, we have nerves that come out of our neck, and those nerves, they go to our shoulder, our arms, our hands, and our fingers. We have 12 nerves that come out of our middle back area, okay? And those nerves make up our visceral nervous system, and those are the nerves that go to our heart, lungs, gut, colon, reproductive organs, you name it. Okay? Then we've also got five nerves that come out of our lower back, all right? You may have heard of the sciatic nerve, people get sciatic pain. Those nerves actually go to our hip, our legs, our feet and our toes. All right? So if you get damage to any of these peripheral nerves that are coming out of the brain and the spinal cord, you start getting symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. Okay? 